Inside here it's about 30 degrees in the workshop, uh, so I can't put in the roof fan to the roof light, so I thought I'd figure out how the solar panels are going on. Now I'm using this broken solar panel, uh, it was broken during transport, but the company sent me a new one so I can use this as a, you know, a template, and the whole idea was uh, to put the two solar panels I've got with this uh, hold downs, uh, brackets, whatever you call them. And the question was do I completely alter the, the brackets because the roof is a bit like in a curve, not much, just a centimeter, or do I do that on the inside? And I decided that I'll keep them as they are and they're going to be under like a little angle so I will have to beware that there needs to be rubber or something in here to reduce that gap uh, but I think that will work out so I can just use these standard I've got four corner ones and two ones to connect the, the panels and they're awfully white so these need some treatment too. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Let's prepare this whole solar panels to, as soon as it's a bit colder, we can put them on the van too. Mm -hmm.
did you ever had a flat tire on uh, a little road or like underneath trees where it's a bit dark uh, during the day and a lot of people don't have their uh, headlights on so you can have that you know refractable triangle in front of your car or well back of your car but still we had that once and it was pretty scary and dangerous being on uh, a long straight road uh, under the trees uh, no way to get off the road so there's no like space next to the road and you're there with a flat tire that happened to us when we came back from Spain a few years ago uh, so that's why I'm putting this lights on uh, the top of the car so they're just orange blinking lights emergency lights so whenever we have a problem uh, at least people see these because these are really bright LED lights so yeah I think they see us from a much longer distance than just the triangle and that's why I'm putting them on uh, and it was a nice spot on these holders of the solar panels and we can have the cables underneath the solar panels and well let's see if this uh, all gets mounted on the roof mm -hmm. 